Do you want to learn how to set up a caravan to start making some passive income in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord? Well, you're going to be happy to hear you're in the right place. In this quick video, I'm going to show you guys the requirements of setting up a caravan and how you guys can set one up for yourself to start earning that sweet passive income. In a nutshell, a caravan is a party that is formed with the express purpose to trade goods for a profit. You'll see them going all around Calradia. They travel all around the world trading from city to city in order to make the most money possible. By setting up a caravan, you're able to dip your toes into the trade market and earn lots of money without having to do a single thing. This can help offset party wages and other expenses as you play through your game. But chances are you probably already know what a caravan is. So I'm going to go through with you guys now exactly what you need to get one up and running for yourself. So first and foremost, what you guys are going to need is a companion. You need a companion to be able to run a caravan for you. So I'm going to quickly show you now exactly how to get a companion and how to find them on the map. So easiest way to do it is you click N on your keyboard and this will bring up the encyclopedia here. Easy as, you just go to Heroes here. You go to Alive, obviously, because you want them to be alive. And then you just go Wanderer. This will bring up all the different Wanderers around the map. So what you're looking for, first and foremost, despite popular belief, trade skill is not the most important thing. Tactics and scouting, either or, are the most important thing. That way, they're not going to get killed as easy on the map. So what you're going to want to do is find one with tactics and scouting. But if you can find one with a trade skill as well, That'll do just as well, but I always try and find ones that do have a higher level or at least some skill in tactics or scouting. So typically, if you're looking for a trade character, you're going to be looking for someone with the last name Spice Vendor. And as you can see here, you've got Salatha the Spice Vendor here. The names will change throughout your campaign, but Spice Vendor will always be the typical part there. As you can see here, she's got 102 skill in trade, so she won't actually be a bad person to have. She'll make you more profit but she'll be less likely to be able to defend herself in battle, but she would still be an excellent, excellent companion to have. But if you want the best chance to survive, what you're going to want to do is find someone with a high scouting skill. So usually someone with a thief as their last name, like cow thief here, horse thief here. If you click on them, most of the time, they're going to have a decent skill in scouting. Dermot horse thief here, he'd be a really good candidate to be able to hire for your caravan because he has 100 skill in scouting, which is absolutely outstanding. But he's also got 132 skill in riding. So he will be very fast on the map. And he'll be very good to be able to see enemies and be able to escape before all of your profits get taken. So once you've found your companion that you want to hire to be able to run your caravan, you're going to look up here in the top right corner here. You'll see here he was last seen in Mysia one day ago. Now usually they're going to take off and run around pretty quickly. So the easiest way to keep this screen up here is you want to click N again. And then you want to find Mysia. And the easiest way then is just up here. So he should still be there. You want to run up there. And every now and then just click N again. Check and see if this has been updated. If it has, go to the town that it's been at. And if not, then keep heading to that location. And you'll see your companion. I'll meet you there. So once you're at the town that the companion should be located, you want to click on the town. And then you want to head to the tavern district here. And as you can see here, he's still here. Dermot Horse Thief. Easiest thing to do. Click straight on him. Hit talk. He'll come up here. You'll go through all this dialogue here. He'll tell you all about himself and you probably don't care. So you just go there and then you click, I can use someone like you in my company. Click there. You pay the amount. Perfect. You join your party. Excellent. So now, what else do you need to start your own caravan? As you'll see shortly, the amount of money you need to set up your own caravan is $15,000 for a regular caravan or $22,500 to have an elite caravan which will contain elite troops so it'll be much more likely to defend itself i'll talk about that a little bit more later but i will always go with the elite caravan just because survivability is the hardest part about running a caravan so all you want to do to be able to set one up for yourself is find a merchant in any city in the game so what you want to do is you hover over this guy here you can see he's a merchant there click on him there go to talk He'll be like, la di da di da you'll do this introduction thing again. And then all you want to do there is go down to this option here. I wish to form a caravan in this town. You click on that one there. He'll tell you all about this. la di da di da You need to pay at least $15,000 to hire 29 caravan guards to form a caravan. And you need one companion to lead the caravan guards. We've already hired our companion. We've got our money. So that's all we need there. If you're happy with that and just standard troops, all you need to do is click I accept these conditions and I'm ready to pay 15,000 dinars to create a caravan. But 
if you want to do what I suggest and go and get elite troops, I would click this option in the middle here. Is there a way to form a caravan that includes better troops? You click on this one here, you'll say I can increase the quality of your troops, but the cost will proportionally increase as well. So then you'll go, okay, then let's go with better troops. I'm ready to pay 22 and a half thousand dinars to create a caravan. You click that one there. And then he'll ask you, who do you want to lead the caravan? We just picked up our guy there. So we'll go to there, Dermot Horse Thief. That's who we got there. Click on him and it's done. You've paid 22 and a half thousand dinars. He'll call his men to form a caravan. You hope it brings good profit. Then you'll leave the town there and you'll see him come out very, very shortly. There he is there. It'll be highlighted in green to show it's an allied party and you'll get a big old thing all around the map. You can't see it right now. It'll be similar to one of these guys here and it'll just show you and he'll just walk around the map. As you can see, he has got plenty of units. He's got 30 people with him and he's all set to go. So he'll just, all you do now, you don't need to do a single thing. He'll go around the map all by himself and earn you some passive income. Now, the amount that you're going to earn will fluctuate every single day. But as you can see here on the first day, he hasn't actually done anything yet. The caravan there, term horse thief, 361 dinars. That'll fluctuate between zero and up to six, seven, eight hundred dinars. Usually it will be around that three to four hundred mark, which is nice and easy to be able to make some sweet money on the side. Will really help you even things out across your party, but it will fluctuate from day to day. So don't expect it to be the same thing each day. But the good thing is you'll never lose any money. So all the while that caravan is going, the very least it'll do is go to zero. It won't ever cost you any more money because you've already paid the amount that you need to run that caravan. So that caravan will just keep running and running and running until it's taken down and it'll keep earning money over and over and over again. So guys, that's going to wrap up my ultimate caravan guide. If you do find it helpful, please do consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. I'm going to be posting more and more guides along with playthroughs as we go along and grow this channel. So I really do appreciate you watching. If you've got any questions, leave them down for me in the comments below. But for now, check out this video here. YouTube seems to think you're going to like it, so you might as well trust them. Cheers, guys.